Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I wanted to look at a small thing with the way Faro and Monticello interact. If I take some package, and I've just connected to the Gemstone repository here, it doesn't really matter which one, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to load this package. Not because I want to show you Growl, but because I just wanted to load something relatively small and show you where it lands. It lands by default into a directory called package-cache in the directory that you started Faro up in. Now, one of the things Mariano Martinez Peck pointed out is that that's not necessarily that useful to have it be in a local directory in that system. You may want to have a repository that you share across multiple Faro images that you would be running. He had a little thing in his tips and tricks post that showed you how to set up a startup loader. What you could do is put this kind of code in the startup loader. And I'll put this in the show notes because it might be a little hard to read here. You grab the shared cache directory and what you're going to do is put in a known location. This time I'm putting it in the same directory, but that's not really that relevant. And then down here, tell the cache repository that its default directory is what you just assigned it to. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and execute this. And now, having executed that, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to find some other thing. Let's, oh, I don't know, let's grab something relatively small. Here we go. Let's try SUnit test. That looks small. So we'll grab this. And we'll go ahead and load that. and bring this back up and you can see that in package cache I still have the thing I loaded the first time but now I've relocated things to put growl and a unit test there so it relocated everything into my shared repository which if I put into some more common location would now be something that I'd put all my Faro images at and not have to worry about having a separate copy for each image I run so it's a nice little trick what you want to do is do this kind of thing inside of your startup loader if you're using that and that way you don't have to remember to do it every time you start up a new image. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.